Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my research video presentation on Watch Kids Practices in Modular Distance Learning Basis for Enhanced Project Watch Implementation. Rational Amidst COVID-19 pandemic, education must continue. The Department of Education crafted learning continuity plan and prepared different learning modalities that suit the availability of resources and locality of the school. Parents were also involved in the decision-making through the survey conducted during the no-face-to-face -face enrollment in May 2020. To ensure the appropriate modality to be used and its successful implementation, school heads and teachers were trained virtually through the learning delivery modalities Course 1 and 2. Thus, with the guidance of LDM courses, the school heads crop up with the appropriate learning modalities to be used. As for Tipo Elementary School, the modular distance learning, specifically printed modules, is being implemented for all the learners. It is the applicable learning modality in terms of resources and locality as the consequence of the LDM1 decision-making tree. Though a lot of issues and challenges pop up beside the scarcity of resources which has been settled in partnership with the local government units and utilization of MOOE, the whooping challenge is honesty and time consciousness in the implementation of MDL printed modules. In MDL printed modules, parents, guardians serve as learning facilitators. Teachers do not see the actual MDL sessions. They just communicate through mobile applications such as messenger, text messaging, and phone calls. Based on feedbacks from teacher advisors, if you would observe some of the outputs submitted in the first two weeks, particularly that of the primary levels, it was undeniable, based on penmanship, that those were parents and not learners' penmanship. The feedbacks were so alarming because the outputs and performance tasks of the learners are the sole basis of their academic performances. That's why the school thought of launching Project Watch programs and strategies that would intensify the implementation of Project Watch. These are the best policy, distribution of flyers, and virtual orientation. Tipo Elementary School as a watch school is developing watch kids for two years now, believing that the children as the future citizens and leaders of this country would be the best target to instill the values of time consciousness and honesty, and also to assure that it would be transpired from one generation to another. Project Watch has started its journey in 2008 with the Ed Memorandum Number 160 Series 2008 entitled Project Watch, an advocacy movement for punctuality and honesty, and it is in its 13th year now. Somehow, the seeds were already planted into the hearts of the members of the school community. Yet, the proponent believes that there is still a need to intensify its implementation to be able to safeguard the accuracy of the results of MDL in terms of learners' academic performance and grades. Education under new normal at Tipo Elementary School is modular distance learning, printed modules. There is a need to assess what kids' practices during this challenging time to organize programs that will strengthen its implementation and that would genuinely help instill the values of time consciousness and honesty not only in them but also to all the members of the school community. Statement of the Problem the study attempted to assess the watch kids' practices in the modular distance learning. Specifically, it sought to answer the following questions. 1. How may the respondents be described in terms of their respective groups? 2. How may the watch kids' practices be described as perceived by the parent respondents and watch kids themselves along the following assessment components? 2.1 Modules, 2.2 Written Works, and 2.3 Performance Tasks. 3. Is there a significant difference on watch kids' practices as perceived by the parents' respondents and watch kids' respondents? 
4. What is the implication of the study on integrating the values of time consciousness and honesty in the modular distance learning? 5. What enhanced project may be proposed in the implementation of Project Watch? Type of study the descriptive method was used in this study to assess the watch kids' practices in the modular distance learning at Tipo Elementary School. Participants or Respondents The respondents involved in this study are 168 learners and parents, guardians, learning facilitators. Respondents were randomly selected from grade 3 to grade 6, specifically grade 3, 42, grade 4, 42, grade 5, 42, and grade 6, 42. To ensure accuracy of response from primary watch kids, grade 3, they were contacted via phone call. The sample size was determined through an online sample size calculator with a confidence level of 95%, a population size of 800 October enrollment, a margin of error of 5%, and the ideal sample size of 168. Instruments The research study made use of a questionnaire checklist as the main tool in gathering data made by the proponent. It consists of two parts. Part 1 is the profile of the respondents which include age, sex, and educational attainment. Part 2 is the Watch Kids Practices in Assessment Components, Modules, Written Works, Summative Assessments, and Performance Tasks. The extent on how the respondents observed the given practices was measured using the 5-point Likert scale. Statistical Treatment The data collected through the questionnaires were tallied and tabulated with the use of statistical tools in accordance with the variables stated in the problems. Frequency, Percentage, Weighted Mean, and T-Test. Findings! Conclusions In light of the findings of the study, the researcher arrived to the following conclusions. 1. There were 168 respondents, where 84 of which were parents and 84 of which are watch kids. 2. The watch kids' practices as perceived by parents and watch kids was above average. In terms of answering modules, written works, and performance tasks. 3. There is no significant difference in the perception of parent respondents and watch kid respondents in terms of modules. However, there is significant difference in the perception of parent respondents and watch kid respondents in terms of written works and performance tasks. Recommendations In light of the findings, the following recommendations are hereby proposed. Sustainability of Project Watch Implementation Enhancement of Project Watch Programs, Projects and Activities Focusing on Curriculum Integration Strengthening Parent Support and Engagement in Project Watch Implementation Further studies with the following suggested titles are hereby recommended. Impact of Project Watch Implementation among the school community members and working towards a culture of integrity through honesty and time consciousness. Lastly, in light of the study's results, it is pertinent to highlight the observed variations in perception between parent respondents and watch kids respondents. These distinctions prompt a deeper examination of the underlying factors contributing to significant differences in perceptions regarding written works and performance tasks. In closing, by leveraging these insights, we have the opportunity to shape an enhanced project implementation that truly empowers both parents and watch kids on their educational journey. Thank you!